As a fellow Brooklyn, I have to ask you, how did you get to start DJing for Biggie? I picked him up in my mother's 1989 Nissan Sentra. I remember going to St. James and, and, and Clinton Hills or Bed-Stuy or whatever, and I was like, come on, Biggie, let's look at my crib. And, and we would go, and he, I'd make him walk up four flights of stairs, and he'd be out of breath by the time you get to the third floor. <laughs> Biggie was weird. He, he gave me his album on cassette his whole entire first album on cassette way before it was scheduled to be released so i was just like all right cool so i went ahead on the radio at the time and i cleaned half the album and it started to play it on kiss fm and the, the hotline you know it's, it's blinking now i pick up the phone and i'm like yeah your man Puff Daddy <laughs> and Puff Daddy's like he's killing me on like this guy wants to kill me because I'm playing half of this this guy's legendary debut album on the biggest radio station in the country I didn't know any better I was a young pup I was just happy to get music he's my boy he said it, it was my album and yeah play it do what you want you know like I didn't, I didn't understand the rules of a single and the scheduling and marketing and I was just that was my boy So I think big always got a laugh out of that And I think he just showed me a lot of love and Clark Kent was his DJ at the time when they first went on the road But Clark started making hit records and started producing for them By that time I think Clark was done. He was like, I, I don't know if I'm gonna do this anymore. So Puff Daddy reached out to me at a some sort of new music seminar or something like that in Atlantic City and he said hey would you like to be Biggie's DJ I said well, let me think about it now think about it at the time I was bigger than Notorious B.I.G he didn't have an album out mm -hmm. I was the guy on the radio I did clubs I did mixtapes so I was like I don't know I think about it so Puff was like what what do you mean you think about it you know so that's how that whole thing started but then once I got down with him it was just like family I just I fell in love with him as a person I fell in love with his music I believe in his movement and this guy just to me ultimately changed the game